This week's Parsha opens up with the story of Yisro, who was the father-in-law of Moshe. Now Yisro was a senior member of the Midian tribe, and he had heard about all the occurrences, how the Jews left Egypt, how they went through the sea after God split the sea for them, and all these extraordinary miracles. And he said, I have to come see it for myself. And he traveled to Mount Sinai to meet his son-in-law Moshe, and he really soaked in the spirituality. What's really interesting, if you take a look not only at the first verse of this week's portion, but at the first word of this week's Parsha, it says, Vayishma, Vayishma Yisro, Yisro heard. Yisro heard about all of the miracles that God performed for the Jewish people. And Yisro came to go ahead and soak in that spirituality at Mount Sinai. What's really uh, curious about that statement is the emphasis that Yisro heard, because after all, everybody heard this great miracle. Every, this was the, the news of the day that was on everyone's buzzfeed. This was the uh, com most compelling news story. What is the idea that Yisro heard? After all, everyone heard. And this really brings to light a very important life lesson. And that is, in life, many times we hear things and we get inspired. And we get, uh, we get charged up that we want to go ahead and make uh, meaningful changes in our life. But how many times do we actually act upon that and internalize those lessons and we are able to make life changes? Very few times indeed. Most of us get inspired and after a time the, the inspiration wanes off. Yisro was different. Yisro was unique. Yisro took that inspiration and harnessed it, internalized it into his very being and said, I am going to go ahead and make a life change over here. I am going to go ahead and seek out the wisdom. I am going to go ahead and seek out that spirituality. Folks, in our lives, many times we get inspired by noble ideas, by compelling thoughts, and by soaring words. And many times, a short period uh, after that, it's just uh, in the dustbin of history. Let us remember the lesson of Yisro, and let us always remember how to bring that inspiration into fruition. Have a wonderful Shabbos.